this could be one of the last times to put on the Movie Star jersey in competition here at the Tour of Guanchi. What's the emotions? What's the feelings as you close that four years? Good, good, good. Yeah, it's just been a it's been a great four years, and I'm really just yeah feeling pretty grateful for the team and happy to be here. Happy to have a good last race and see China for the first time. Can you look back at the Mateo who turned pro, you know, four years ago and? see him and give some advice to him and, and and say what he did wrong what he did right yeah i did a lot of things wrong probably no i mean i've definitely changed a lot this team has has given me a lot and i've learned a ton about yeah how to race how to be part of a team how to be professional yeah i've grown a lot even just learning spanish new language and yeah i learned a lot of just really invaluable things it's been super four years why yumbo visma I, maybe it's obvious but it's it's because it's the super team and that's the best place for you to really step it up. Yeah, I really wanted to find a place where I where I could, you know, become the best version of myself. I'm most interested at this point in my career when I'm still young and I still think that I have margin for progression. I want to go to a, a place where I think I can get the most out of myself physically and reach my best level. So that was my number one priority when I was, you know, looking for teams in the spring and yeah, I think I found it with Yumbo. To me, yeah, from every conversation I've had with them, yeah, they've impressed me, and, and I think it's a place where I can definitely reach my best level. Because you were putting in a lot of your own investments over the last couple of years to make the steps up and, and improve. Are you hoping at Yumbo Visma that's all supplied for you from the team? But can, but can you talk about what you had to cover for yourself, what you did in these last couple of years? Yeah, I think that's definitely part of it from what I can tell from the outside and what I've the conversations we've had yeah I think a lot of that that stuff is built in with Yumbo and also a lot of the things that I was doing were yeah things that I've learned from watching and and reading studies and things from from Yumbo and, and Ineos and these other teams so I'm hoping it's a place where I can kind of remove a lot of that mental stress and a lot of that stuff is is yeah like you say it's already it's already kind of part of the, the structure and yeah I'm hoping that it'll be I mean I'm pretty confident it'll be an environment where I can go there and and just kind of focus on my job. What were you doing that you had to pay for yourself? What did you have to, what did you, have, were you spending a lot of money and, and what sort of things, coaching or? What? Yeah, I spent yeah, a significant amount of my own money in the spring just on, yeah, I hired a nutritionist. I did my own altitude camps, so two different, yeah, almost month long altitude camps, buying my own nutrition product. Yeah, just things that I thought would make me better and I think all paid off. Just trying to make myself as good as I could be because I knew that this year was pretty important and and yeah I was pretty just focused on the spring and, and wanted to to maximize myself. How stressful has the last month been because we all thought the merger was on we thought it then we hear it's off we wonder where everybody would have their own position in in the new newly merged team what, were, what was going through your mind did you have contact from Yumbo Wiesman that time? I didn't have any contact no apart from one call a few weeks after the news initially I guess not the news but the rumors officially came out and in Twitter, uh, I yeah, I, I got a call and they told me that I that I would be safe no matter what happened. And yeah, it did seem like the merger was on the table and it was a it was definitely a clear option from what it from what I could tell. But yeah, I, I wouldn't say I was stressed at any point. But yeah, for, for sure when it when I, for sure when I read it first on Twitter, I was like, well, who knows what could happen? I mean, I'm sure everybody on both teams questions crossed their mind because. With a situation like that, you just never know what could happen. But in the end, I was pretty confident with the UCI that in a situation like that, they would have us have our backs and, yeah, with a valid contract, some solution would come. And, yeah, I wasn't stressed about my job or anything. I was I was just I was just kind of shocked at the at the proposition. Do you know you have a good schedule with Yumbo Visma? Have you guys talked about that yet, kind of what you should be racing and will you have a shot to get back to the tour you have to earn it i suppose yeah for sure have to earn it no we haven't talked about it at all no i haven't had really any conversations about schedule i would like to after this race i go to their headquarters for a day and we do some clothing fitting and hopefully i'll have some conversations there and know some more but as of now i don't know much um, you didn't ask to be a part of the tour team when you signed the contract that's not really yeah i don't think that stuff really happens and on a team like Yimba, you really have to earn your spot and yeah it's always the, the eight best guys that go to the tour, so yeah, I'll try my best to be there for sure. You ready for the challenge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. good man. Thank you.